Ah, uh, hello there. Welcome back to Mine Colony's Byzantine. You've caught me kicking it back, relaxing in my new sewer home? I guess the cistern is kind of like a sewer. And I'm watching my favorite YouTuber. Oh man, this guy's great. I could watch him for hours. Hope you guys agree. Anyway, we've got a big build project going on today. So let's jump in. Now redecorating my home is going to be a big job. So I'm not done that yet. Wait, rack controller? Oh, interesting. So it looks like this whole cistern is designed for you to put loads and loads of racks down here and then have a controller up there, which gives you access to all your stuff. Very interesting. Because if you remember last episode, this area was full of stone. We've cleared all that out and it's a pretty cool space for storage. Anyway, I've also gone around the colony and added a few decorations. So let's take a look. As you can see, we're using mahogany just because it's a bit of a meme. It might not be the perfect tree, but I think it looks okay. And we've hooked up the avenue, added some stairs and gardens, and made things look a little bit nicer. Now there's something pretty funky going on with this plaza decoration. So basically level one comes with this pretty cool hanging canopy and hedge section. Very nice. But there's also more decoration over here, which we can get our builder on. However, there's going to be some funky requirements. Check this out. So we need to get azalea, flowering azalea and azalea leaves for these little bits. I had some azalea that I used for my house, but my stocks have run dry. So we'll have to look into that, but it's not a big build. That's something we can do in the background. What I'm keen to do this episode is start looking into housing. Yeah, because we keep getting guys appearing in the tavern, but we've got nowhere at all to put them. So it's time to get some of you Patreon and YouTube members into the colony and into a huge insulae housing segment. Oh man, now this is going to look absolutely great. My plans are to start building the insulae here, go along the coast, use a corner section, and then go along there as well in a kind of like L shape. Now I'm a bit too close to the action right here to do it, so I'm going to get on top of that guard tower and show you what these insulae look like, because they are one of the defining features of the Byzantine build pack. Now, as always, keep your suggestions coming in on what you want to see in the colony, because I like to think that I have some okay ideas, but sometimes you guys post something that is truly inspirational and gives me some great ideas. So here we go. The insulae housing, it's under fundamentals, then insulae ends. And then you select residence and you get basically the ends. There's A, B, which you have to turn around, I guess, and C. So basically three different styles of insulae. But that's not it. You also get the middles of the insulae, the corners of the insulae, and there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do there. And also Spamanti told me in the comments that one of these insulae comes with a place for you to put a restaurant. So I'm not quite sure if we can have two restaurants, but I feel like why not? Let's give it a go. We're going to have loads of dudes on the colony thanks to this amazing housing. Now the plan here is to have one L shape of housing in the front, then raise up like a street behind it and have another layer of housing in a really cool kind of segmented terrace. But we're going to start with just the insulae number one. So the front one is going to be one of the shorter insulae, so the back one behind it can reach up a bit higher. And the shortest style seems to be end A. It goes from one, two, three, four, five. Pretty cool. But also it starts off using cream bricks at level one. So we skip the wood stage completely. Anyway, this looks like a good spot. We've got room in the front there. Let's pull the trigger on this. So now we've got the insulate end in place. It's time to go to insulate middles. And here we go. We want the residence. And you get a few options here. You have the main A which is kind of like, I guess, a main middle bit. A mid A, which is kind of like a connector. And these all sync up really great. Now they're programmed to level up with each other. So you don't want certain parts of the insulate being level one and others being level two or three. That'll look really messy. So we're gonna go with all of them level one and then slowly upgrade them. So fast forward some time, we've got the end piece A. We've got a mid section A, we've got a main section A, and then in the corner there, we have a corner section A, which is right here, corner A. But now we've gone all the way to the corner. We're gonna come across here in an L shape, very similar to how we've done here. However, we're not gonna use a main bit here 
because we've already got the main segment. We're just going to use a couple of mids and then an end piece. Now we're a bit too far away for the game to load those middle bits, so don't worry, they're there, they're just hidden. But what you have to remember is, so if this is the end on the left, if we try and put that over there, it's not going to fit right. So we have to use the mirror function to flip it around. This way we get a right end instead of a left end. But this looks like it's in position as well. Amazing. Press tick on this and let's get a closer look. These should load as we get closer. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, this is going to be really impressive. And this is only level one. Level one. That's crazy. But let's take a quick look at some of the materials required for an insulae. Okay, so we're going to give this one to Nikki, I believe it's her turn. And yeah, it's cream bricks, which we can grab, and beige stone bricks, also not a problem. We've got spruce for days, no sweat. White beds we might need though, so we're going to have to turn all of that flax into wool. We grabbed some hay bales from that barn before, so we can get loads of those. Aha, and we're going to need to make some guard towers because these things also come with their own guard towers. And this is really good. This is really going to help us stretch out the colony and keep it well defended. So boom, build that building. Amazing. Now we've got our work cut out for us. I'm going to take off my builder's shade so you can see. Yeah, oh man, there's a lot of land clearance going on over here. This is a really ambitious project, but one I'm very excited for. Both of the builders are paused right now, so it's time to get about collecting some of these materials. Well, this is going to take me some time, so I'm going to skip forwards to the build. I'll see you in ooh, a lot of materials. About an hour? Oh, you know what? Actually, maybe an hour and a half. Oh, hello there, Dunny. What are you doing here? Helping out? Are you going to, you know, help with the build? I suppose I could oversee the construction. But before I do, I have a question I need to ask you. Oh, right. Yes, of course. Oh, uh, wait. What's what's the question? The helper that I'm building you needs to be bound to the spirit of an animal. I need you to tell me what kind of animal you want your helper to be built around. Okay. Well, you heard Dunny there. Put your answer in the comment section and let me know because this sounds pretty exciting. Wait, what? What's a comment section? Do you mean the post box? Anyway, the builders are set up. Uh, Dunny's going to help, which is great. I guess she'll help clear out the land if we're lucky. And let's get going. So work has commenced on our very first homes and we're not pulling any punches with this build. All in all, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven separate modules that go together to create this insulae. Now it looks like Dunny is hard at work digging away all of the ground and trees and leaves so that there's enough room and space for our builders to get work on the very important task of erecting these buildings. Now if you're building a Byzantine colony at home or any kind of mine colony that uses a modular structure, be very careful. Check, double check and triple check that your buildings are in the correct position. Make sure the hallways are clear and clean and that you can get through all the doorways and that it matches up because it is so, so very easy to put a building in the wrong position. And once it's in the wrong position, you'll have a real tough time getting it back in the right one once it's been built. Now it does look like because the builders are taking so long to get all the way over the bridge in the middle of the colony, it's taking them forever. And it looks like Dunny has had a great idea. It looks like she's built a dirt bridge for now, over the river, and obviously this looks really ugly and terrible, but it is a great way to get the builders over there for the time being. But it is a really good point. When you do have a colony that's centered around a river like this, you're going to need more than one crossing because that bridge is going to A, be very, very, very busy, and B, probably mean the colonists have to walk way too far, not only to their jobs, but to their homes, and the couriers are going to have a terrible time too. Now the fireworks were popping off left, right and centre for this build because the insulae is absolutely filled chock-a-block with guard towers. Something I'm really excited to see is how much this has improved our citizen and guard count. When we go over to check at the town hall, 
after the build is complete. But it's a really good looking build as well. Only level 1 and it already has these terracotta shingled roofs and these beige and cream bricks. Really, really, really stunning. Oh man, so this is so impressive. And this is only level 1 as well. This building is only going to get better. Oh man, well, let's dig up this ugly dirt bridge and go take a look. Now we should be able to ulti mine most of this. Yeah, no sweat. Oh, whoops, dug away some of this. But that's okay because all of this is going to get replaced anyway because we're going to bring the seawall all the way along here and continue this path of polished andesite. Oh man, so this whole thing links up. And let's take a look inside. Okay. So we've got some weird kind of animal pens. I hope this isn't for people. I'm guessing it's stables, but what's really cool is we can bring some horses now maybe and put them inside here. There is hay bales there. Oh yeah, it must be a stables if there's hay bales there. Now come into here, yeah. Oh man, it all works. This is a house, I guess, kind of. Or maybe it's supposed to be like some kind of communal house and this is like the kitchen. That would make sense. And as you go upstairs, oh wow, yeah. So this is a guard tower. It came fully constructed, but we can actually upgrade this. Amazing. And in here, one of the bedrooms. I guess the bedrooms are marked by the beds. And here next door, we have another bed. Oh, and a another guard tower. Wow, a few of these dotted around. Aha, uh -huh, hello, what's this? So this is an unbuilt residence. Only needs one white bed and one polished diorite. So we'll get Jay on that. And he should have those things in his builder's racks, maybe? I made a load of beds. Oh yeah, and now we come to the corner segment. And like all the other pieces, this links up too. Oh man, this is the bee's knees. It even comes with a fountain in the middle over here. It could use a few more lights, but honestly, this is very impressive. And remember, still only level one. Amazing. Now, what are the materials required to get this to level two? Okay, it's, it's not super crazy, but it's still a few little bits. So we'll do this later on. But for now, oh man, yeah, I feel like we have finished the insulae for the time being. It looks super cool. Now, the big question is, how many extra citizens has this given us? And here we go. On our way back, we can take a trip through the gardens and I can show you how sweet these things are. Very nice. There's even benches so we can take a load off. Oh, yeah. Don't mind if I do. Now, you may have also noticed that we've changed the lilacs over there to roses because somebody in the comment section said roses were the royal flower that was decorating Constantinople quite a lot. So that's fair enough. That's what we've done. So what does the town hall say? Inform oh, my God. you got to be joking. There's enough room now for like 19 more dudes. That's crazy. Oh, no, no, wait. We have to remember... That is a lot of guards as well. So 16 possible places for guards, which does still mean we have nine slots for players. Some of you guys in the comments had said that I didn't configure the restaurant correctly, and I want to go and double check to make sure I have. So yeah, here we go. Now we have the food here and all of it set to on. We also have the fuel set to jungle planks. That's great as well. But we haven't actually taught our worker any recipes. So let's see if we can do that now. Let's teach them how to make toast. Yeah, amazing. So there you go. The insulate is in position. Looks very cool. So the next thing I want to do is see if we can track down some azalea. Because I want to upgrade this plaza section. This is really going to be looking cool eventually, but I want to get these other squares filled in with whatever they're supposed to have in them. But getting azaleas is a big question. Where are we going to find those? I stumbled across some before. I think it must have been in like a chest somewhere. So I feel like, ooh, what are we going to do? Well, let's check the market, see if she's going to sell us anything. Aha, uh -huh. yes, looks like this is a great spot for finding azalea. Now, this isn't cheap. It costs emeralds. What we can do is use the botany hopper pots. Oh, man, botany to the rescue one more time. So let's go and see if we can track down our emeralds and get some azalea. Now, we're also going to need some dirt. And I think we're good to go. Let's go and grab these azaleas. 
So like I said, yeah, it's always worth holding on to emeralds, stashing them, and honestly, getting saplings is a great way because you can spend ages hunting for these naturally occurring, and you know what, why bother? Boom, azalea. Now it costs four emeralds for one flowering azalea. Which is a pretty steep rate. But ultimately, emeralds are also pretty common. So I reckon we're gonna put the flowering azalea in here and we'll have to set up another hopper pot for this non-flowering. Actually, scratch that. We're gonna convert the sunflower one because there's no way we're ever gonna need 700 sunflowers. I reckon we've got as much as we'll ever need. So boom, in goes the azalea there and the flowering azalea there. Oh, don't they look cute? And we'll put these in our backpack. Okay, amazing. So we've got those azaleas in there growing. Ah, and they do get bigger. Amazing. Actually, honestly, they make pretty good decoration in these hopper pots as well. Especially if we could dye these with a different color. Maybe I'll come back and give these a bit of a dye. Anyway, we've, uh, we've got lots of sunflowers. We've got lots of the things that people require to come into the colony. Let's go over to the tavern and see if there's any new dudes wanting to join up. Man, do you know what? This tavern has become a ghost town. And I'm starting to wonder, is there some kind of bug? Or what it could be is related to happiness. I wonder if the colony isn't a happy place to live, are people less likely to come and visit at the tavern? That's a really good question. Let's go and double check that our happiness levels are okay over at the town hall. So let's see. Yeah, citizens, that all looks correct. Settings. Hmm. Statistics? Oh my god, look at this! <laughs> Red across the board. Everybody's hungry, everybody's injured, there's not enough guards, the kids are not in school, and that's not okay. There's no social life. Oh my god. Guys, we have a miserable colony. Constantinople? God, it's difficult to say. Is a horrible place to live. These guys are miserable. How can we make this right? Well, let's consult Jay. Hey, Jay, what's going on? Are you miserable? Oh, right, you want a bed? Okay. But his happiness is kind of okay. But I think what it means is the injuries and social factor are tied into the fact that we keep getting colonists to be sick. Oh, man. So what we're going to have to do, I think, is prioritize getting that university built. But it's crazy because I also need a warehouse that I haven't built yet. I feel like I made a minor mistake going so hard on guard towers, restaurant and fisher huts and even getting the builders huts up so high level when I'm missing some of the fundamental core buildings. But for now we have some azaleas and we're getting more. So let's go over and begin work on the plaza decoration. I'd like to build this to cap off the episode and I kind of really want to see what the builders come up with when they upgrade this. So here we are at the plaza. When I put this down, it had very few building materials required because it was only level one and it only came with this small little canopy you see on the right. It's a nice little garden with some glazed terracotta. But the problem is you have to upgrade it to get the most out of this. And it's really cool to see this go up because I did not look at the preview so I wasn't sure what to expect. And it looks like we've got this really nice amphitheater going up in one of the quadrants, very cool. Azalea is something that can be tricky to find, and for most of the decorations in Byzantine, it's super essential. So do make sure you can track down a source of azalea, and if not, build a marketplace like we did and use some emeralds. We are gonna get rid of that ugly dirt wall at the back of this plaza, but the plans are to have a staircase now that goes up and build a terrace that raises the city up behind my player house and this plaza. Okay, so as we come over the bridge, this already looks so much more impressive. We have the amphitheater over here. Super amazing. A great place to, uh, I don't know, I guess watch a play maybe or hear a speech. And over here, I don't know what these are, but I, I think they're kind of like sunbeds. Although, no, maybe not because there's like a, a cover over here so you wouldn't get a tan here. And it looks like this is where the note block is, but again, I'm a bit confused about what this is supposed to be. Anyway, it looks like Dunny is over here and ready to take a load off as well. And I think I might join her. So as always, a massive thank you for watching. Don't forget to put in the comment section what, uh, what was it? The animal I used to create your golem. Yeah, because honestly, that sounds really cool. I can't wait to meet whatever it is. Anyway, 
Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Keep the comments coming in about ideas, tips, suggestions of what you want to see from the colony because there's so much to do even now. And I love your input. But until next time, take care.